Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com. Welcome to this week's episode of The Dog Pound. This week's wallpaper is brought to you by Mr. Eden 1992 This person suggested a broken wall, a broken record for a wallpaper, so this is a nice little graphic that I decided to go with. If you have a suggestion for a wallpaper, leave it as the comments below, and I may use it in next week's show. Let's get started with the comments. So the first comment today comes from Enemy Brand. This person said, Tomb Raider? Answers like that is why women don't make as much as men. So I think you're trying to insult my intelligence here, but I can't really tell because your grammar is so bad. So you may want to work on that. Here's a comment from the Computer Dude 100. He said, I don't get this show. Okay, so let me tell you how it goes. I read your comments, and then I make terrible jokes about your comments, and then you make fun of my terrible jokes in your comments, and then I make more terrible jokes about your comments about my terrible jokes. And then I talk about the news. Lastly, Crazy Zay12345 said, Everything you say is awkward, and yet people keep watching the show. I think I think what it is is that it's an ego boost for people. You know, they can be like, well, I may not have that many friends, but at least I'm not like that chick, right? Am I right? Yeah. Now here's the news from last week. The headlines were dominated by the new iPad. Apple announced their latest magical device on the 7th. It packs an improved dual-core A5X processor with quad-core graphics, a 5-megapixel camera that captures 1080p HD video, LTE support, and a new retina display. No word yet on if these devices are powered by unicorn blood or if people really are just that gullible. After the announcement, iOS 5.1 was made available for download. Some of the new features included in this update are a redesigned camera app with video stabilization technology, an always visible camera shortcut button on the lock screen, Japanese support in both Siri and voice dictation, several new features for the iPad along with some bug fixes. For the full change log, check out this article. Taylor Martin wrote an interesting piece on why he's not interested in the new iPad. Check out that article to see his thoughts and let me know what your thoughts are. Are you going to be buying the new iPad or are you going to go for something else? Let me know in the comments. Not wanting to feel left out, Google made the news by renaming the Android market to Google Play. Each section now carries the Play branding. For example, you have Google Play Movies, Google Play Games, Google Play Books, etc. Rumors are that Google went with this branding because Google Play Movies is more appealing to toddlers and Android has been criticized for being too complicated. Check out these articles by Evan and Taylor to see what they think of the new Android store thing. If you're an Android fan on Verizon, then you may want to look at this list that Verizon released detailing which phones would be upgraded to Android 4.0. If your phone isn't on this list, then you may want to look into an OS that has phones that actually get upgraded. Wow, what's with all the insults today, Sydney? First Apple, now Google. You're gonna have to stop with these insults. People are gonna think you're some kind of fangirl or something. How about we stop talking to ourselves and just get on with the You know what? Don't tell me what to do, okay? You're not the boss of me. Finally, I would like to introduce to you Phone Dog's official smartphone rankings. In the past, we've provided you guys with our list of the top smartphones, and while we'll continue to do that, you guys can now contribute to a People's Choice rankings. Users can submit one vote per week through a linked Facebook or Twitter account on PhoneDog.com. The votes are tabulated weekly, Monday through Saturday, and the final rankings are posted Monday morning. Vote for your favorite phones and see what phones we voted as the best on the market and why. So that's the show. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. All of the news articles that I talked about can be found in the description below the YouTube video. Feel free to leave a comment below about any of the news that I talked about or just leave a funny random or weird comment. One of them could be featured. But I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.